So you're setting up a Google Ads account and you came across account level automated asset settings and you want to learn more from it, then you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I will guide you on where to find these assets, what they mean and if you should use them or not. Automated extensions use Google smart technology to enhance your ads with additional information giving potential customers more reasons to choose for your business or click on your uh, ad. They can include anything from links to specific parts on your website to highlights of your service features or even your stellar seller ratings. So the first thing is where to find these ad assets. First click on uh, Google, go to Google Ads and click on campaigns then click on assets and here you need to click on the three, three dots and click on account level automated assets. And then click again on more and here you'll find the advanced settings and then you are brought to account level automated assets settings. So now I will explain those assets and if you should use them or not. The first one is dynamic site links. Uh, these are automatically generated links that can appear below your ad, uh, leading to relevant pages on your website. Uh, they give potential uh, customers more options to choose from. So in this case, um, the more options are uh, more nutrients, food for pups, this is dog food. So when to use them? Use them when you want to provide quick access to different areas of your website directly from the advertisement. Then uh, the second one is called dynamic callouts. Uh, those are short snippets of text that automatically highlight features of your services or products. So in this case, if uh, you have a product and you offer free shipping, you can set, uh, you can fill in free shipping uh, and other things. So uh, use them to showcase unique seller points of your business without uh, the need of user action. Then going to the third one, it's called dynamic structured snippets. Dynamic structured snippets display specific aspects of your products and services. They're a bit like the call outs, but they're focused on a specific category like destinations or services. Use them uh, when you want to highlight a range of offerings or the breadth of your inventory. Then moving on to seller ratings. These show your business average rating based on customer reviews. Uh, this can boost your credibility and trustworthiness. Uh, use them if you have a good rating and you want to showcase uh, customer satisfaction into your ads. I like this one. Then moving on to longer ad headlines. Uh, this allows for more text into your, uh, into your ad headlines, giving you more space to explain your offer. Use them when you need to uh, convey more information up front to grab the user's attention. Um, yeah, what I normally do is create a test with a short and a long uh, form headline. Then I will see uh, normally uh, which one is the best. Then um, there are two more left, automated apps and automated locations. Uh, automated apps are extensions that promote your mobile or tablet across Google search network. Uh, if you use an app uh, and you want to drive installations or engagement directly from your ads, you can use automated apps. Then automated locations, these show your business location. Use them if you want to attract local customers to your store. So those were the explanations to the different automated assets from Google Ads. Um, yeah, that was really it. This was your guide on account level automated assets or also called automated extensions in Google Ads. If you find this video useful, hit the thumbs up below the video. This way I can check what videos you all like and what should I create in the future. If you want to learn more about Google Ads, subscribe to the channel. This was Tracking Success for now and I'll see you in the next one.